hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate.
Clinton Woods fought that Teddy Boy there. Kev the Rock Burton.
then whether to just put it into the sport button because I forgot. <laughs> oh, there you go, what can you do? You get home. I always get stuck behind the Persia. Show that. 
I like that Johnson Hughes, he's a good fighter, that I forgot the kid's name, he's got Paul on his shirt, on his, on his shorts, him who fought last. No messing about that kid, was it? Woohoo! Hey? No messing about. I thought Dale's fight, I thought it was close. Maybe could have gone either way, I don't know, maybe. I think he had a bad cut on him from up his ear. But, uh, all in all, that's a 10 out of 10 amateur show. That's why we do this. It just gives you the shot in the arm, doesn't it? For boxing. Uh, it's such an horrible game behind the scenes. Somebody just said to me there, everybody in this building who's, in, who's involved in boxing is here for money. And I suppose when you think about it, yeah, they are, aren't they? Well, they just want to get their expenses or they want to get a few quid. Yeah, maybe they are, yeah. Uh, it's just one of them things, isn't it? Maybe I have to get my head round that. You know, I see that. I see enough strokes pulled up. Uh, I see enough strokes. What's going on? With, you know, I could write a book in the last five years, but there's a lot more people been around it a lot longer than me about pro game, and they've seen all sorts. Let me tell you, all sorts. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to Matlock for quarter, for quarter past eleven to come in Dennis and Razor Ruddock and them. That's that for Big P tonight. I think it's Coco and the family album. <laughs> no, that's usually the first date, isn't it, when you can take a bird back to house. Mother's, mother mother-in-law comes downstairs, future mother-in-law or as somebody once said to me, future outlaw, what's he doing in here? Come on mate, what are you doing man? What are you doing mate? You shouldn't be on road if you're going to drive like that. You shouldn't be on road. But, uh, but yeah, very very good show that Mick. Very good. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Really, really, really enjoyed it. And that's good because for uh, some boxing shows you can go to the shit. You know, it's been like fuck me. Yeah. This lane here, this lane is called Crook Hill, like Crook Hill Gold Club, I think. Anyway, to cut a long story short, ah, I'm all ready for a bit of steam up there. I've got a mate who came up here, we're being chased. I'm not going to say his name, all my pals who are watching will know. I've only been about 14 then, 15. And he weren't talking my area. He got chased up here, right? Say for instance, you turn your lights off, so you've got no lights on, I'm not going to do it like that. You turn his lights off and the only thing he's got while police are chasing up here in an XJS and his main beam. And he came flying up here and he was slammed on here and then he banked to here. But the copper that were chasing him went straight on there! <laughs> and ended up dropping, it's about 894 into Cowfield caved all suspension in an undercarriage and the copper <laughs> he was trying to find an entrance out of the cow field that's a famous true story that let's just say and everybody knows I'm not even gonna say his name actually because he might be mad at me but but yeah uh, that's a famous tale and I said when I'm older I'm gonna do that I think I've done a little bit more than that so peace out, shout out to uh, all of who sponsored me. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you?
Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.